The Montreal Protocol is kind of where it, this all started, which to protect the ozone layer by phasing out CFCs and the HCFCs. 2015 and 2016, the EPA enacted SNAP, significant new alternative policy, which looks at ozone depleting substances and makes recommendations to replace them with. Then there was the Montreal Kigali, gradual reduction in HFCs, which is where we are now. The world has been moving towards lower GWP refrigerants. The EPA has been very slow in that regard to act. Certain states like Washington and California said, can't wait, we're gonna do our own thing. From a manufacturer standpoint, you can imagine this is, is quite a, a chore because all the different states have different nuances and dates. The industry went to the EPA and said, hey, can we get this thing going? So the EPA has now started its regulatory activity, which came through something called the AIM Act, gave the EPA the authority to regulate global warming. Now the EPA can do GWB transitions as well.